Hello and welcome to Destiny Digits. This is the Soul Urge reading for Soul Urge number five. So as a five, you are a freedom seeker. You're very curious. You are magnetic. Um, you love change, right? And so fives are just very expansive. And so your soul urge talks about what motivates you. And so you are motivated just by change and adventure. Um, and you are very good at adapting to new environments, people, places, and things, activities. You're a quick learner, uh, very intelligent. So that's what motivates you, right? Being able to have a life where you can let that energy flow and thrive. Okay. Oh. So we're going to take this one because it kind of was. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have purification. We did have an extra card come out, and that was happiness. It has two dolphins. It came out with power. Um, so we have flow, fulfillment, power. Flow, fulfillment, power. Okay. All right. So to begin five, so purification, right? This is a cleanse. This is a bath. This is a mental bath, intellectual bath, spiritual bath, right? This is a soul bath. This is really cleaning every aspect, every fiber of our being in order to progress and move forward in life, right? And so right now, spirit is asking you to purify, to cleanse in order to prepare for what comes next. And so that means to let go, to release anything from the past that is not a part of your growth, right? Anything that doesn't grow at the rate that you do. Any people, places, or things that don't reflect the reality that you're creating for what is to come is something that you may, you know, be called to leave behind. Spirit is saying fulfillment. What the fulfillment that you seek, whatever it is, you know, that you desire, that that you, you know, that would meet your needs or satisfy you is yours. It's there, but it has to ripen. And so in the time that it takes for it to ripen, what you are being called to do is to practice patience, right? And so patience, it's not waiting. It's not the it's not the time that passes that that's not what patience is. Patience is what you do with time that is passing. So as you wait, it is the energy that you are in that you can display or not display patience, right? And patience is really, you know, having great anticipation for what's to come. But there's, you know, no time on it. It's just having great, you know, you know, positively anticipating what's to come. Um, lastly, we have power. And so I feel like you are learning the boundaries, the benefits, the depths of your own power, of your own force, of your own ability as a five, right? And so this is almost like you're shedding skin, right? And the two things that you can count on coming out of this purification is success and happiness. Your power is what will bring you success. You understanding what you have what your strengths are, what you have, what you have already overcome in life, right? You understanding what you want, you seeing it, you going after it. Um, success is yours, right? But so we just have to be conscious of how we, we have to be conscious of how we energetically are in this space and time right now. So Spirit has already said, you know, the future is unclear. So you must go with the flow. Um, and energetically, you, you may not 
be able to sense what comes next, what's what's required of you, what you're being called to do, what should you know, uh, what should you leave behind, what should you take, what should you learn. You may not understand all the things that this new skin is going to require of you, right? So there are some things that are still unknown, but in that surrender and go with the flow. And when you are feeling off, when you are feeling unsure or just, you know, out, out of your own comfort zone grounding. So learning to go with the flow, you know, that is this lesson for you. Going with the flow is required because your mess, your, your, your current lesson spiritually is about grounding. And so when we don't know what is happening, how it's happening, when it's happening, there's something that we have to do to keep ourselves at ease, at peace and centered when, when everything is shifting. And so that's grounding. And so that means connecting with the, 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 the natural force of life, earth, right? That is literally just being with earth. What does that look like? Well, it could be touching it, it could be planting, it could be gardening, digging, uh, it could be walking, right? Shoes off. It could be laying in the grass. It could be, you know, um, connecting with trees, you know, just sitting against them, reading books. But it it really means taking yourself out to the earth and just grounding yourself in that because your personal experience is shifting. But thank goodness earth has been here for us every day. And so let's ground into what is what is constant as everything else shifts, right? Let's th- let's just connect with what will not change as everything else is changing so that we can keep our wits about us, right? And as our fulfillment comes in, spirit is asking us to be patient. So as we ground, as we wait, we need to wait in peace. We need to wait with great anticipation. We need to wait in, a, in an energy of happiness. We need to know that we are already fulfilled. We need to know that we are already happy, right? And it's in doing that that we understand our own power. Not only did we have the power to go through what we went through, but we walked in darkness and we were unafraid, right? We just trusted that what we wanted was at the end of this path and we just took every step, you know, every step in total, in in blindness, but in total faith. And, and that taught us the strength that we have. So that would be something, you know, relevant to the story if that fits for you. But this is just, yeah, so success is yours, but you will learn this, you will gain this success by really growing in your own power. And that's by testing yourself. When you want to grow, it's through test, strength test. Um, and so it seems that that's what this is bottom of the deck was past life. So we have purification and we have past life. So what you are cleansing, what you are releasing, what you are getting rid of is energy, karma, work that was brought over from a past life, right? And so this is where you 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 get rid of it. You do the work. You purge it. You, you pick up where you left off in your last life and you know, you complete that mission and then move on to whatever is required next. And so this purification, this is you, you are literally cleansing yourself of of past life. I'll say karma, but it's really just energy. You know, that's what karma is. And so, wow. All right. You know, so the beautiful thing about numerology, depending on charts that you have or you have done, is the numbers that you have or don't have present in your chart tell a story, right? So if you have a whole bunch of fives, that's a that's sometimes you can misuse that energy because it, there's an abundance. If you have no twos, then that is a that's a lesson that you have to learn because you didn't carry that energy in with you in this life. So that's an energy that you have to learn. So yes. 
something in the past life. We had extra cards. I'm just going to put them here at the bottom so we can see them and reference them as they apply. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles. All right. So three of pentacles talks about, you know, having an opportunity to work on something that brings you joy, something that allows you to express and display your creativity, your intuition, right? It's it's an opportunity for you to share yourself, right? So you may be working alongside others and doing that, or others could be watching you, or it could be on a platform. But nonetheless, this is about you just working on something that brings you joy, um, a craft of some sort. So currently... Think about your think about your 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 current experiences. Is there something that you are working on? In the center, we have the King of Pentacles. So this is an energy of wealth. This is an energy of abundance. You know, this is somebody that really understands how to draw, create, maintain material satisfaction. You know, this is money. This is finance. This is someone that's comfortable in that energy. So is this the energy that, is this something that you would like to create for yourself, right? Think about what, so when we see fulfillment here, would this be fulfillment for you to be in the space, you know, of somebody that has mastered, you know, earthly energy, finance, money, wealth, Now, before the King of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups. So, you know, this is an energy of not being fulfilled, right? This is the opposite of fulfillment. This is somebody who has emotionally invested in things that they thought would have brought them joy, but it turns out their cups are empty, right? They could have been pouring into other cups, but they were not getting anything in return. And this didn't happen once, twice, or three times. You know, this is, this is, this is something that happened again and again and again, you know? So this is an energy of, I'm over it. You know, this is ridiculous. Like I'm really fed up. This is not what I wanted, you know? But the, the thing about it is, is that spirit is offering the fourth cup. And this is this is this is about this this makes me think of when I mentioned it's how you wait. So none of the cups in front of you have been anything that you've really that have brought you what you desire. None of them. So that means that you're still waiting. You're still in waiting for your own fulfillment. Now here comes the fulfillment. But if your arms are crossed and your head's down, will you see it? If you're upset and if you're pouting, then is that true patience? So if we are anticipating that greatness will still come, even if we've endured the opposite of that, right? Then we would immediately see and know that possibility is still out there no matter what has been. And so that's when we step into patience and wait for f the fulfillment to come. And so if the fulfillment for you is this this creating something and having this, this Midas touch almost in life and, and establishing abundance, you know, then spirit is saying it's, Maybe whatever you've been doing hasn't been working just yet, but don't give up. Be patient. You know, we have the four of wands here. This is the energy of, you know, it could be home, it could be family, it could be relationship, but nonetheless, it's it's something that has been built, something that that has been built in hopes that it's stable, it, it lasts, it's there to show and grow, and it can become fruitful. Right. And so that's what you are wanting. You are wanting, you are wanting that, right? You are wanting your energy, your passion, what you desire most to amount to something um, that's fruitful, but also grounded. It, you know, it's, it's, it's really founded on the work, the effort and the craft that you put into it. Now, beneath the King of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords. 
So this is, you know, receiving a spark, inspiration of truth, of clarity, understanding. This could be some type of communication. And, you know, the whole bottom row is swords, actually. So we have page of swords, which is like message, receiving a message, trying to discover a message, you know, just wanting to know something um, and then actually getting it, getting that inspiration. And then oddly, we have the four of swords, which is kind of like putting something to rest, kind of taking all that we know about a situation or all that we've been through and really putting things to rest meditating, reflecting, trying to clear our mind, so to speak. And so I feel like you were given, you know, you have clarity about what it is that you, that will put you in this King of Pentacles. You know what that is, right? You know what will bring you fulfillment. You also discovered the things that have not brought you fulfillment, right? And those things that have not brought you fulfillment in some way may, you know, energetically have left us harboring some type of resentment. And so this is where we... This is re this is where we talk about the purification, right? So we find out something, we discover something. Um, we're just kind of unfulfilled. And so spirit is saying, you know, you have the you have the power to do something with your situation. What will you do? Right. If you haven't achieved success, but success is what you were aiming for, what you were working for, but it hasn't come. What happens next? Like, do you just sit under this tree forever? You know, where is your power? What can you do? Right. And so this is really about becoming the greatness that you are due to become by stepping into your own power, accepting the truth about the role you play in your story and also what you allow and will no longer allow to take place in your life, right? This is about you stepping into your power and putting all the things at rest that didn't reflect your true strength, right? Because now it's time to build. So, now we're in the space of I understand my power, I know what fulfills me. I know what I have to do, to do, to become, to get, to have what I want to have, you know? And so this is where spirit says, now, you know what it is you want, but you don't know how anything yet will happen. So this is where we go with the flow and the unknown and the darkness, right? This is where things are still a mystery, but somehow we just have to trust and go with it. So we have the Ace of Pentacles that's above this Four of Cups. And so that is like an opportunity that if you take that pentacle and if you do the required work, it can become something more, something valuable. You can you can manifest it. It is a seed. What will you do with the seed, right? So as you are grounding, as you are connecting, as you are trying to deal with the newness an opportunity will come, right? When the opportunity comes, are you ready? I say that because above the King of Pentacles, after we have the Safe of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords, which is like nightmares, not being able to sleep, not being able to rest, you know, thoughts are racing through your mind, right? This could be fear, anxiety, stress, worry, you know? thinking that this is the worst thing ever. You know, why did I do this? Why did, you know, what, what was I thinking? And so I feel like spirit is saying that we can fall into this nine of swords energy if we are not secured and stable as these shifts and unknowns carry about in our energy, in our space, right? So what we really should be doing is 
preparing for an opportunity to be offered to us so that we realize that we can make a plan. The world's in our hands. We have this two of wands. We could do anything we want, right? We have this passion. We are going to work with what we have and we are going to apply what we have. Two is about balance. It's about harmony, cooperation, adapting. And so we take our energy and we work with the divine and the universe and everything, you know, we, we just become a partner with 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 life and we manifest we create we envision it comes you know we we make a plan but how in the world can we make a plan if if we're in the energy of the nine of swords and so this is where the grounding comes in this is where spirit is saying listen this is a lot but use your power to secure yourself right so when we start to feel ourselves unravel or to think the worst about whatever is happening somehow we have to pull ourselves back in somehow we have to ground ourselves to something that's stable secure and and everlasting so that we don't count on all the things that are currently shifting is our reality because when they change we're we're all in pieces so success happiness is only at the other end of you realizing your power realizing that your fulfillment will come, but sometimes it does require a time, a, an amount of time to pass. And as that time passes, it's how you wait that matters, right? Because what, how you wait determines what comes after the waiting period is over. And you want to be ready to take what's offered and to make a plan. We don't want to spend this time all in our head, doubting, fearing, not knowing, questioning, not deciding, not choosing, not trusting, right? Um, and then when it comes, we haven't utilized that, that, that no man's land to get work done and to, to make the plan. So before things happen, make the plan, create the plan for what it is that you see taking place. Now, remember, we have the three of pentacles. So if this is about you doing something creative that really speaks to you, something that makes you happy, right? If you pursue something that makes you happy, success is inevitable because it'll never feel like work. It's coming from you. It is you. And whenever you're pursuing you, that is your truth. That's your desire. Um, and you can't lose. And so success is only going to be at the end of that journey for you. But this is about you trusting it and believing it and, and really knowing that no matter how many failures have happened, it just brings us closer to possibility. So this is really about adjusting our mind about the way life works and the way we work, we use our own energy and power to work with life, right? Um, so the three cards that came out, I mentioned, I'm going to move this here. The three cards that came out, we had the Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, and Death, right? Um, so these were extra, but just in case they apply. So, you know, Ace of Wands is being inspired to do something, You're doing something new. And then we have Two of Cups, which could be like a relationship, a union of some sort. And then we have Death. Which is weird, right? Because ace is like the beginning, but then there's death so soon. And so this could mean that a union, something that you were involved in maybe ended, but it's about to be, it's about to go through some type of renewal, you know, um, or the, or a, you know, the, the, the ending of a relationship was really about transforming it so that it could go through a renewal. Um, or, you know, something that you're committed to, something that you're in is going to, to be transformed, right? And what brings this transformation is this Ace of Wands energy, this, 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 this epiphany, this spark, this energetic download that just is like, you know, propels you. So if that fits, use it. Those were extra, but I, I always like to reference them. Um, but okay, fives, this is a lot. This is a lot, but I mean, success, happiness, fulfillment, 
it's all yours. King of Pentacles is the center energy. It's all yours. Um, you know, but you just have to move a couple pieces, do a couple things to secure it. But this is a pretty good reading. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, take care.